Did you ever get some joke that were out of scope? Hi. Okay. Well, this was a reference to the different lovely JavaScript variable declaration techniques such as var, let, and const. And again, some reference to these techniques with the reference keyword. Okay, this is getting out of hands. There's probably a lot of confusion around these three keywords. And trust me, this is your last video you're going to need. Because in this video, we're going to look at some examples when you would use these keywords and what even the differences are between these three keywords. So what are these things? Var, let and const are first of all three different variable declaration techniques. And all of them have differences in scope, redeclaration and reassignment. So you might ask yourself why JavaScript is even bothering with these three different variable declaration techniques. And the answer is pretty simple. It is evolution and the need for more precise control over scope, reassignment and immutability. So the first variable declaration technique is var and this is the OG of JavaScript and it is not used anymore and I don't recommend to use this anymore. Now this variable declaration technique is really confusing and has a lot of weird error prone behaviors such as hoisting and function scope. The second variable declaration technique is let and basically it was introduced to fix all the issues with var. And let introduces block scope which I'm going to explain in a minute. Now the last one is const which basically is also block scoped but it needs to be initialized when it is declared and it cannot be reinitialized later in the code. So let's quickly jump into some examples and maybe also some interview questions that might come up in your career. Now let's first look at some weird behaviors of the first variable declaration technique var. For that we are going to quickly define a function that is just called explain and in this function we are just going to declare if condition that has no real condition it just says true so this is always executed. And in this condition, we're going to declare a variable with the var keyword and assign it to 10. Then we are going to print the x after this assignment and declaration. And out of this condition, we are also going to print x. Now, if we call this function, what do you think might the output be? So if you're going to look at the output, it's 10 and 10. Now that's pretty strange, right? Because we just declared the variable inside of the condition and then print it outside of the condition. The issue is, like I said before, due to hoisting and the whole function scope. So what actually happens here with the var keyword or the var variable declaration technique is that this var x is basically hoisted to the top. Now what that means is that we say the following. Whenever we define something with var, it's actually bubbled up to the function scope or to the corresponding scope. That basically means that when JavaScript executes this specific code, the variable gets declared here, but not initialized. And then it is initialized inside the condition. Then we're going to print it and then we're going to print it again. And that's why it is pretty clear that both outputs are actually 10. Again, the reason is here hoisting. So the X bubbles to the function scope top like this here. Then we initialize x with 10 in the condition, then we're going to print it and print it again. And this is the whole issue with var. Now this can be really confusing because you might imagine when the code gets bigger, it gets obviously more complicated. And when variables get hoisted to the function scope, it's pretty weird and pretty error prone, obviously. Now one more thing I actually forgot to mention is that when a variable with the var declaration technique is defined outside a function, so it has no function scope, the var variable is actually defined in the window object. Now this is the second issue. So for instance, if we now define a variable called color and assign the value red, this variable is not bound to any function because it has no function and it has therefore no function scope. Now that's where a variable with the var declaration technique is actually bound to the window object. So this color variable is now bound to the window object. So if we go to our console really quickly and then just print our window object and then scroll down a bit to see, we actually see our color, which is now red. Now this is a real issue because these variables can be mutated in any way and also everyone can see these variables. And this is the second issue with the var 
declaration technique. Now let's look at the second example that might come up in an interview question. So for that, we are going to declare a for loop and this for loop basically counts to three. However, we don't use let, we just use var. And in this function, we're going to set a timeout, declare the closure here and just print i and the delay will be 1000 or the timeout will be 1000. Now, what do you think will the output be of this specific code example? And maybe most of the developers might guess, okay, it might print just one, two, three, right? I mean, that kind of makes sense, but not in JavaScript, because what we actually see here is that the three gets printed three times. Now, what is the reason for that? Now, the reason for that is again, the function scope. And again, we use var here, which basically means that this variable is hoisted to the top and we do not redeclare this variable, this i variable inside of the for loop, inside our set timeout, we actually use it again. Now what this means is that the var i is basically declared up here and then i is initialized and then i is always being incremented. And then obviously after one second, we get three because i is reused and not redeclared here. Now we can fix this behavior by just saying let. And as you can see in our console, it prints 0, 1, 2. Now, like I said, var introduces a lot of issues like hoisting and function scopes, and it can be really complicated to maintain code with var instead of using let or const. So let's get quickly into one example that just shows what let is. Now we are calling again our example function here, but now we are making use of the let keyword instead of the var keyword. And if we now refresh our page, we see in the console that we get 10 and then a reference error. Now this is the error we actually expect. Why? Because obviously x is no block scoped due to the let keyword. So the x variable is declared here and initialized here. After that, the output is being generated. So 10 is being printed. And then we actually get an error at the second console log statement due to the fact that X only exists in our if condition. So again, to reiterate here, let uses block scope and var uses function scope. Now the third one and the last one is pretty easy to understand because it's quite similar to let. However, it cannot be reinitialized. So at the moment, X can be reinitialized by, for instance, saying x is equal to 30. Now, if we do that and look at our console, we get 30 because we declare x, then initialize it with 10. And after that, we reassign x with 30. However, the third keyword introduces no reassignment. Basically, we can say const, which now states that x cannot be reassigned. So it's a constant value. And if we now look at our console again, we get the error assignment to constant variable. And this is obviously pretty obvious because we just declare constant here and we are not allowed to reinitialize this specific variable. And that was basically it to all these three different variable declaration techniques. Now here's my personal recommendation to all of them. So my personal recommendation is never use var again. So let's just let it die and then use const first and adjust accordingly to your needs. Now, this is also common practice in a lot of different programming languages such as Rust. So you declare a variable as constant first, and then when you really need to reinitialize this variable, you just, instead of const, use let. So I hope you now fully understand these three different variable declaration techniques. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.